To God be the glory and praise. I would like to share to each and every one uh, the dream that I had February the 6th. Before I start with my dream, if you hear some whistling noise or whatever, um, they're actually cooking outside and the, the pressure cooker is so, so, um, so loud. So that's why I hid in here so I can do the video. So anyway, um, in this dream, I found myself in, uh, in a living room connected to the dining room and we do uh, with 10 or so people and a few of them some of them are my family members and the others i do not know except for this one mexican uh, lady so anyway we went to this dining table and i saw this little girl you know and i decided i told them come on let's pray but this little girl was putting her hand like this she's putting it under the table she just don't want to be a part of it until finally she you know she accepted the invite so all of us hold hands together and we started to pray we prayed the lord's prayer and so as we prayed the lord's prayer and as we were done these people who were with me people i do not know they immediately prayed uh the hail mary and then i told them no stop i said you know uh i said we're not supposed to pray that uh, pray that and then this mexican lady was telling me it is written in the bible um uh, that um blessed is she, uh, blessed is she uh among women because she's chosen to be the mother of jesus and i know uh, it was written there that i know it was the angel telling her that and it's written in the bible but i was trying to explain to them that you know that part is written but you cannot find a part in the bible that says we have to pray to her so I was telling them, you know, uh, uh, we ha we should love Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus, and respect her to be the mom of Jesus. And uh, But we're not supposed to pray to her because it is written that we're supposed to pray to God alone. And so as I was, um, as I was saying these uh, words, I told them, uh, open, their, open your Bible on John. And then I said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. When I say this word, a part of my head, like in the left side, uh, let me see. I think it's in the left side, but okay. Uh, I was explaining to them, and then, okay, yes, in the left side. A part of this, like a left part of my brain, I felt like, it's like a machine it's like it started to squeak you know when you do the machinery and you can feel like uh like a machine like you, you know like a robot kind that a machine that you can hear the squeaking the metal squeaking something like that that's how it sounded it's like my brain my brain just move and uh, change and i was like in this particular dream i was telling myself oh so this is how our brain um, brain uh, works. That's what I'm saying. This is how our brain works. That it is like operated to, to say the things. That it is like operated and programmed to say things that we need to say. That's what I, I said in my dream. And brothers and sisters, it's so strange that, you know, I know I'm human and I'm not machine. But I felt like. So, you know, like this, it's so hard to say the sound, but you know, the machine that squeaks and then it's like moving and changing, like uh, operating by itself. And so it just made me think that, oh, wow, while I'm speaking, you know, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. At the same time, my mind was like observing and feeling what's going on on my brain. Why it's like, you know moving by itself and it's like program program that this is going to be said and this you know in a particular moment and then it also reminded me about you know uh it also reminded me i said it here you know it oh, yeah okay i'm going to say it the way i wrote it down because this is february the 6th i said but as i was saying this word my brain was like left half like a machine being fixed and twist inside like a vault 
the sound and you can hear and feel the squeaking and like something in machinery being moved and operated. I was talking at the same time, observing on what's going on in my brain and telling myself, this is how our brain is programmed to say the words exactly the way we should say. It reminded me of what God said about the Holy Spirit. Don't worry about what you say or going to say because it's the Holy Spirit who is going to speak. So they were opening the Bible and can't find John and I was trying to help look for it. Then the dream ended. And so that's how the dream ended. And um, at that particular dream, it really just reminded me, you know, there's a part of the Bible and I'm going to read it to you later. But at the same time, it's like telling me that... Um, you know, literally, I know, um, you know, this is just like trying to tell me two things. Spiritually, uh, physically and spiritually, we are for the Lord, right? But then, you know, Satan is deceiving. He's trying to copy what the Lord is doing. So instead of, he can program the mind of human beings. So he's going to make robots, I guess, out of machine in order to you know, to program their mind also. So he can act like, uh, you know, like a God, but you know, he's not God. And that's why I know a lot of people right now are inventing uh, robots, machines. They're doing clones, whatever, because they can't do what the Lord God did, right? To create human being in his own image and likeness. And so, what is this dream? Uh, what is the, the message of the dream that I would like to share to each and every one? Uh, what have I learned from this uh, dream? The Lord's Prayer is actually, I've been noticing it in all, most all of my dream. You know, it's a very important prayer. I know we can pray a lot of words that we want to say directly from our heart. From our heart. But I know Lord's Prayer is also a special prayer that Jesus taught his apostles. And we can find that in Matthew 6 verse 9 to 13. So why can't we pray to Mary or saints? You know, I was telling them. And you know what? If you try to think about it, the Lord's Prayer is very complete. You know, when you say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us do not lead us to and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever glory are yours now and forever amen and so sometimes others are using the trespasses, but I'm using the word sins. So, so the Lord forgive my sins. So anyway, um, I give the glory and praise to God the Father for teaching us that prayer. So why am I saying, why can't we pray to Mary or saints? When you go to Timothy 2 verse 5, the Lord said, There is one God, there is also one mediator, between God and human beings, a human, the Messiah, Jesus. So that's why, brothers and sisters, um, don't take me wrong, especially the Catholics. I know um, I'm not attacking you. I'm just telling the truth, you know, from the Bible. Same with the Buddhist people. You're not supposed to be praying to the, the, the Buddha with plenty of hands or plenty of heads. Their statues and their idols. We have to pray to God, to Jesus, through His Son Jesus Christ only. And so, uh, and there's only one mediator in order for us to reach God is for us to pass through Jesus Christ. So we will truly be saved through Him. And that's the only way. Jesus said, He is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one comes into the Father except through Him. And so, that's the Word of God. No one can come to God the Father, Yahweh, the great I Am, the Alpha and the Omega, 
except if we if we pass through his son Jesus Christ our messiah our lord and our savior so in hebrews 7 verse 25 the lord said therefore he is able to save completely those who come to god through him because he always lives to intercede for them so Jesus is the only one who will intercede for us. That's why he said he will be with us until the end. I read that somewhere in the Bible. He will be with us until the end. And he's the only way. And so what is the promise of Jesus if we trust in him? If we accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior and trust in him with all our body, mind, heart, and soul, What's his promise? When you go to John 14, verse 13 to 14, the Lord said, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, to that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Praise be to God. And the Lord is true to his promise. He is always faithful and true to his promise. He don't lie. So remember, when we pray, prayer is worship. And that's why when we pray, we have to pray to Jesus and God only. We're not supposed to pray to other human beings who died or to the apostles or to, to Mary or uh, to whoever. We have to pray to Jesus and God only. Why did I say that? Because, you know, always remember prayer is worship. Why did I say this? There's a lot of instances in the Bible that even the apostles and the men of God in the Bible who immediately went into their knees when they see the angel and uh, some of the people who actually went into their knees in front of the apostles what did the apostle or the, the angel told them? They actually told them, get up. I'm also a servant like you. They don't want us to pray to them. They don't want even Peter or whoever the 12 apostles are. They don't even want us to pray to them. So how much more with Mary? She is a human being like us too. And this is why the devil wants to deceive the children of God or the creation of God using the mother of Jesus. If you love Mary and you love Jesus, why don't you just go directly to Jesus if you want to be saved? You know, if you want to, if you want to, uh, if you want, let's make it as a simple, um, let me, let me do it this way again. If you want to watch, uh, watch TV, you have your YouTube, you, you know, you have a connection direct. Why do you have to use a VCR or VCD and connect it to TV and use a CD? If you know that you can even just click your TV and watch those video direct on your TV. You know what I'm saying? So uh, why do you have to go turn around if... You can have the direct, direct uh, person that will intercede you. That you have Jesus that will directly intercede. Why do you have to go somewhere else? And that's why people are sinning because they will go to the, to the psychic. They will go to somebody else instead of directly calling the Lord. And so, when you go to Revelation nineteen verse ten, then I bow down. At the angel's feet to worship him but he said to me do not worship me I am a servant like you and your brothers and sisters who have the message of Jesus worship God because the message about Jesus is the spirit that gives all prophecy and that's why brothers and sisters if we have you know, people who speak about the Lord, like me, the pastors, whatever, if you're listening to them, we have to be grateful, but give the glory and praise to God. Because these messages are not coming from us. 
these messages are coming from the Lord. We have to we have to share what we learn. And that's how we have to bear fruits for the glory of God. Okay, for the kingdom of God. And that's why the angel in Revelation 19 verse 10 said, Don't worship me. Worship God. And because that message about Jesus is the spirit that gives all the prophecy. And so in Acts 10 verse 25 to 26, the Lord said when Peter entered, entered, Cornelius met him, fell at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter helped him up saying, stand up, I too am only a human. See, Peter also said, no, stand up because I am human like you. So see, if Peter are the special people, 12 apostles chosen by God who don't want to be prayed for, do you think Mary, you know, allowed herself to be prayed for during those times? No. I'm sure she don't allow that. But remember, that's the reason why the Lord wants us to read His words and keep it in our mind and in our heart. Because no one can steal it away from us. If we read the whole words of God and ask Him to keep it in our heart, no one can steal it away from you. And you can use that as your defense against the enemy. That will be your faith and your sword to fight against the enemy. No one can deceive you because the Lord put it and you will ask the Lord, Lord, give me the wisdom, the understanding, and the discernment. The discernment to recognize the real and the unreal. Because remember, even Satan quoted, he quoted Bible verses when he's trying to tempt Jesus. They're quoting Bible verses, but there's a little bit twist. And that's how they were saying, Mary is the blessed, blessed and chosen among women. And then they started to twist. They want to pray with her, to pray to her, which is not supposed to be because we have to worship God only through his son, Jesus Christ. And so Mary is used for idolatry in the Catholic Church. And at the same time, um, you know, we're talking about Mary here. So Mary is used by, you know, they're using her. So people who lack knowledge, who lack understanding about the truth of God's word, they will be deceived because you don't know. You know, it's like when you're going to when you're going to school, when you know A, B, C, D up to Z, and people will say, "Oh, this is D," and you know, you went to school, you know that's not D, so they cannot fool you. So same with the Bible. If you read the Bible and ask the Lord to fill it in your heart, and when people will say, "Oh, this and that," you won't be taken away because you understand what the Lord told you. And so in Second Chronicles 33 verse 15, the Lord said, And he took away the strange gods, small g, and the idol out of the house of the Lord, and all the altars that he had built in the mount, in the mount of the house of the Lord, and in Jerusalem, and cast them out of the city. See, they took the strange gods, the idols, out of the house of the Lord. And the altars that they built in the house of the Lord and in Jerusalem. Because if you go to Jerusalem right now, they actually have like four. <laughs> there's a Catholic area there. There's Jewish area. There's Muslim area. And I don't know what's the other side. Maybe Gentiles. I don't know. But anyway, they're taking all those idols. And I know people who, who pray to Mary. I'm sure they have a lot of statues of her from outside their house. 
or inside their bedroom or in their living room. The Lord said there should be no graven images. How hard is that for us to understand? It is said by the Lord all the time. They can't talk. They're made of stones and wood. If you believe in the Lord God and Jesus, trust in Him even if you don't see Him. And pray, Lord, is this lady telling me the truth? Would you reveal yourself to me? And if He reveals Himself to me, I saw Him a lot of times and I give Him the glory and praise. I saw Him like 20 plus times or so. It means He is real. I saw Him while I was awake. So brothers and sisters, that's our faith. If the apostles saw Jesus in their eyes, even if you don't see him, blessed are you who believe in him, even if you don't see him. That's our faith. And so when you go to Leviticus 26 verse 1, do not make idols or set up an image or a sacred stone for yourselves. And do not place a carved stone in your, in your land. Bow down before it. I am the Lord your God. So the Lord said he don't want us to have carved images, stone images in your land, in your house that you will bow down. Because he is your God Father Almighty. He created us and He don't want us to have those stones. And some people are saying, oh, they're just a remembrance like our picture. We don't actually bow down to them. What if you're, you're actually in front of them? You're actually bowing down because you pray. You pray to them. If you really love the Lord, do what He wants you to do. Do what He wants you to do. And if he tells you no carved images, don't pray to any other except to his son Jesus and him, then obey that. How hard is that to understand? If he said no car carved images, then don't. Because he promised you he will be there for you. What is holding you back to those stones? You know what? It's the devil. Who don't want to let you go and it's your choice you have to pray constantly Lord please help me I have to let these stones go and I just have to trust you and pray to you Jesus Christ and God the Father only and so when you go you know scriptures never ever say pray to the dead people or ask them to pray for you this is one of the mistakes of people they usually pray for the saints who died uh, because their body didn't decay. Or they pray for this uh, dead nun or dead uh, pope or uh, dead whoever dead is there. Why will you pray for the dead? You pray for the living Jesus Christ. I know if they followed, let's say they will go to heaven or they will go to the Lord. But they will wait until Jesus will come. Because when Jesus comes, all the dead in Christ first will rise, followed by those Christians who will be left behind and be taken by the Lord. So why are you going to pray to them when the Lord constantly say, pray to Him? And so in Matthew 6 verse 9, the Lord said, pray then like this, our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And in Philippians 4 verse 6, the Lord said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. 
and Lamentations 3 verse 40 to 41, let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and to and lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. So that's why the Lord just wants us to pray to Him with all our body, mind, heart, and soul to lift our hands up high to Him. So we have to remember, brothers and sisters, in John 14 verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So always remember that no one comes into the Father except through Him. That's the main message that we always have to remember. We can go to Jesus passing by any other way, but only through Jesus Christ because He is the only way, the truth, and the life. So in 1 John 4 verse 1, the Lord said, Beloved, do not believe in every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Always remember, brothers and sisters, there's a lot of false prophets that are wearing sheep clothing, but inside they are devouring wolves. You can test them the way uh, they live their life. It's so hard if it's in the computer, but ask the Lord so you will understand. And I know if the Lord is in you, you will actually see and feel the presence of God. So therefore, we have to remember in John 1 verse 1, just like what I said in the dream, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. And so we always have to remember the word that is written in the Bible is Jesus himself. Every time we read the word, we're actually filling our soul and our mind, our heart with the word of Jesus who is Jesus himself. And that will help us in our walk with Jesus Christ here on earth. And so... In Matthew 24, verse 4, the Lord said, Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you. We have to watch carefully what we are hearing, what we are saying, and what people are telling us. If you are in doubt, when people tell you something, don't immediately agree. You know, ask the Lord. Ask the Lord for what is true. true, And so, what is this brain program that I have in my dream? Why is it that it's, you know, it's like programming on what I am going to say? Just like what I was saying earlier. And it is found in Luke 12 verse 11, which is also the same in Matthew 10 verse 19 and Mark 13 verse 11. The Lord said, when you are brought before synagogues, Rulers and authorities, do not worry about how you will defend yourselves or what you will say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that time what you should say. Brothers and sisters, praise be to God. This is the word of the Lord. Uh, brothers and sisters, you will be amazed when you constantly praise God. When you wake up in the morning. And pray and uh, you know pray that the Lord will bless your day when you are driving in the car when you have a chance bless your food when you eat even at the restaurants wherever do that don't be ashamed don't be ashamed you should be proud you should be proud and humble at the same time to be a daughter or son of Jesus of God the Father in heaven and so the lord said you know we're not supposed um uh, oh praise god it was just like um we really have to always remember that time is uh time is running so fast and we all know that when we are in a scenario when people will ask us and question us 
I know the Lord will fill us up with the words that we're going to say. And it happened to me a lot of times. And uh, I know me speaking to you right now is not a coincidence. I would love to be obedient to God. And I give Him the glory and praise. Uh, give Him the gl glory and praise for everything. And may the Lord bless each and every one of you who are listening. That the Lord will heal you from all sickness that are in your body. That the Lord will cover you with His most precious blood and wash away all those illnesses and sickness. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and shine His face upon you and uh, show Him, show you His love and mercy in Jesus Yeshua's name. Amen and Amen.